Overseer Olivet. We'd like to thank you for accepting your new role as Overseer of Vault 81. This program, as you know, represents a critical research opportunity. The work we do together will lead to a better future for humanity, not only in these times of uncertainty, but far into the future where it holds. Your background in academic and applied medical research will make you a capable leader to Vault 81 science staff, and your administrative background gives you the unique ability to lead and manage the general population as well. Thank you again for reconsidering this offer of employment and good luck, Vault Tech Human Resources. The mission of Vault 81 is to research infectious diseases and antibodies with particular attention paid to potential mutations in a climate of heavy radiation. Clinical trials are a vital part of Vault 81's mission. Trials will be performed in three stages. Stage 1 trials are to be conducted in petri dish cultures. Stage 2 trials are to be performed on the colony of heterocephalus glaber specimens furnished by vault -Tec. Stage 3 trials may be performed on the residential population of Vault 81. Scientific staff will be restricted to the hermetically sealed research area. This measure reduces the chance of cross-contamination between residential and scientific staff populations. The overseer will have communication capabilities, but no other members of the residential population are to be made aware of the Prime Directive. As outlined in the Vault Tech Operations Handbook, all staff members of Vault 81 will be required to participate in mandatory drills held on site at the discretion of the Overseer and Vault Tech Administration. Admission drills are a requirement on all beta alert days, as indicated by the Vault Tech Early Warning System. In the event of an actual alpha alert, Vault 81 residents will be admitted into the vault by overseer staff. All scientific staff should report to their workstations immediately, avoiding contact with general population, especially those whom they may know personally. If necessary, overseers should remind staff of their confidentiality status. Research reports should be archived on the primary mainframe. Chemical compounds and other physical materials may be deposited in the marked receptacle only by the overseer and only after a successful stage 3 trial phase. Vault 81 is not to be evacuated under any circumstances except a direct all-clear command from Vault Tech Central HQ. In the event of a Vault Tech ordered evacuation, Overseer must be prepared to dispose of residential population by incineration. Propellant nozzles are pre-installed in all residential living quarters. To avoid contamination with outside population, this disposal is at the discretion of the Overseer, unless specifically mandated as part of the vault Tech evacuation order. I can't believe it. Vault Tech must have really been desperate for an overseer candidate after Duncan fell ill. I'm certainly qualified for this job, but with my politics, how could they even think I'm a good candidate for this kind of program? Maybe there's more to this than I'm seeing. They still haven't given me a full briefing on the work we'll be doing here, but I'm not stupid. I'm pretty sure it's going to involve human trials. I won't jump to any conclusions, though. Let's see how this plays out. If they're crossing any ethical lines with me, they'll be in a congressional hearing before they know what's hit them. Oh, man, this is so weird. I guess 
this silver crowd is like cleaning up the town or something? These researchers are willing to put up with a lot. A Today is our fifth thrill of the week. And this time I had to make the calls in the middle of the night. Half of these scientists are just kids. Between cramming for finals and sleeping off Friday hangovers, I'm shocked as many of them staggered in as did. I guess the pay is worth it. I know I wasn't earning that kind of money as a grad student. Out there, defending justice. Or at least killing people that hopefully deserve it. It's much worse than I thought. I was finally giving my full briefing today. Not only is vault -Tec asking us to do clinical trials on humans, they've got some serious backers in government. I can't just blow the whistle on this. I've seen the admission roster. There are good people planning to live in Vault 81, and I've little doubt the vaults will come into use eventually. I won't reward the trust of these people by treating them like guinea pigs. I feel trapped. I don't know what to do. It's done. I got the call early this morning. Another beta drill. It's always Rosario who has to call. Her voice was trembling, and she couldn't get off the phone soon enough. She knew. Sure enough, the warning was upgraded within a few hours. And the news was reporting confirmed launches soon after that. I made a decision. I deliberately sabotaged the phone list. Such a simple thing, but it meant that none of the science staff received a notification about the drill. The residents are beginning to show up, and we'll have our hands busy admitting everybody. I'm no criminal mastermind. Clearing the phone list prevented most of the science staff from showing up, but three still made it in. Flint and Collins are both my age and live in the Fens. They had time to get here with the general population. Burrow is just an overachiever and came by in the morning just to see if there would be a drill today. Figures. They've reported to the research area. The vault protocols engaged automatically and sealed them in. They're already busy with their work, especially since there are only three of them. Burrow and Flint are getting restless in there. Collins and that robot, he's calling her Curie now, are keeping the mood relatively steady, but I think they already suspect that I have no intention of allowing them to implement a stage three trial. Not sure what to do. They've got access to the delivery nozzles. If they choose to, they'll be able to infect the population with whatever they want. Need to keep them calm. I've made a grim choice. I sabotaged the delivery nozzles in all the resident quarters as soon as I was able. I didn't expect Burrow to notice so soon. Hell, I didn't expect Collins to get so close to a Phase 3 trial so quickly. I didn't expect half of what's happened in the past few months. Cutting off communication is a cowardly thing to do. But what options do I have? They'll have food and water in there as long as they need. I just can't let them go through with human trials for God knows what vault -Tec plans to do with their research. I only hope that somehow they can forgive me and live out their years in peace over there. Research comm records. Testing. Dr. Olivet, do you copy? I do, Kenneth. Everything's good over there? Just another drill day, right, Overseer? It is, and thank God for that. Overseer, there are just three of us over here. What's going on? Olivet, are you getting this? 
Sorry, Kevin. It's been a madhouse on this side. Only three? Myself, Jim Flint, and that kid, Burrow. Where is everyone else? Not over here. Residents are being admitted. They started showing up in droves once the news started broadcasting. That's the same way I heard. You'd think vault Tech would have had enough warning to call at least a beta drill for staff this morning. Something must have gone wrong. We've been pretty limited down here, but we've been focused on antibiotics and have our first Petri trials underway. I saw the data last night. It's promising. But do you think it's ready? The trials just started and the virus we're going after has a few days of inoculation. But I'm optimistic that later this week we'll see positive results. Okay, keep me posted. And don't begin phase two trials until I have an opportunity to go through the new data. Of course, have a good afternoon, Overseer. Overseer, do you have a minute? This system isn't instantaneous, Burl. I hope you haven't been waiting for a reply all morning. Sorry, Overseer. I wanted to notify you about an issue with our food extruder. Okay, I see it now. Looks like a clog in the protein tank. You weren't able to address it on your end? No, Overseer. Hardware failures on the residential side must be addressed over there. We can't get to the tanks or nozzles to repair them. Okay, Burrow. I'll have maintenance down there immediately. Go stand by and have Collins contact me if there are still issues in about 10 minutes, okay? Thank you, Overseer. I'll go there now. Good news, Dr. Olivet. We've tweaked our formula based on Phase 1 trial results, and I think we're ready to go with Phase 2. How is the mole rat population doing? Very well. The specimens vault Tech provided are remarkably hardy. Flint has been doing some radiation testing on them. Is that in the protocols? Not technically, but we noticed some weird stuff going with the kibble provided for them. Burl got pretty sick for a day or two. Don't ask. Flint's been looking into it. These suckers are big to begin with, and we're thinking it's genetic. Tampered with? Something like that. I think vault Tech must have been running some experiments with them. They're all unusually large. A few demonstrate bioluminescence. At least one appears more intelligent than normal. Do you think there's still a useful control? We've divided the colonies, separated the most unusual specimens, and put the control colony on a new diet taken from our own food supply. It's not ideal, but I think we're okay. Very well. Give me the evening to go over your data again. But I think you're clear to begin phase two, unless I find anything I don't expect. Overseer? Yes, Burl, what is it? I've noticed an issue with our delivery mechanisms. Do you know if anyone has tampered with the nozzles in the residential quarters on your side? I don't know. What are you doing with the delivery system anyway? The phase two trial just began. I know, Overseer. I just thought it would be a good idea to run tests on the delivery system before we reached phase three. If we reach phase three, Human trials are not to be undertaken lightly. What kind of tests were you hoping to run anyway? Just a placebo vapor to make sure the nozzles are dispensing mist properly. The residents wouldn't even know we had done anything. I guess that's the idea, though. I'll look into the nozzle issue on my end, Burrow. In the meantime, please do not use the delivery system without my direct approval.
Doctor, please get in touch. I know what you've done. Honestly, I don't blame you. Performing the Phase 3 trial on non-consenting humans is a breach of ethics, at least according to the world we used to live in. I can keep Burrow together for a while, but Flint's already suspicious. What are we supposed to do over here? I can only lie to them for so long without some actual response from you. Damn it, Olivet. You can't be such a hypocrite that you'd condemn us to die in the name of your personal sense of morality. I know your politics, but I never thought you'd actually leave men for dead. Please reconsider this. And that's it. Anything useful on that terminal? 